Hello everybody, we are uh, sitting by the shore of the Sea of Galilee, uh, the Golan Heights, uh, just there behind Marlene. This is Marlene Jacob, she's the rector of St. Luke's Tacoma, and she's one of the pilgrims on our 2017 Holy Land trip. And uh, so I wanted to ask her, Marlene, we've only been here uh, kind of on the ground for maybe 48 hours, but what's typical is that almost right away somebody has an impactful thing that happens to them and uh, so I'd ask her is there some thing that's happened already for you that you might share with us yes um, yesterday we were walking around I was sort of in my jet lag uh, stupor and we were wandering through the market in Nazareth and uh, I noticed that I hadn't paid attention and was hoping I wouldn't get lost uh, and then we came to a place called the synagogue church and uh, Again, I was tired. I w wasn't really thinking about what that meant, but what it was is a church uh, That was built over the synagogue in Nazareth the uh, first century synagogue I believe in Nazareth and uh, as we walked in the door Dominic asked if I would read the lesson which I said sure and grabbed it but then as I was reading it I realized that I was standing in the place that Jesus stood when he read those exact same words and uh, it was so powerful I, I want to say that it was like an out-of-body experience but it was not that it was the opposite it was um, more like I felt rooted to the ground right there and I also felt uh, what a great thing it is to wander upon the earth for a time, each of us. And I felt a certain unworthiness. Who am I to be reading these words that Jesus read? Um, and if you recall, the words are um, that he read from the prophet Isaiah, uh, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, therefore he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor release to captives, sight to the blind, and to announce a year of favor from the Lord. And then he sat down and all the eyes of the people in the synagogue were on him, as I felt people's eyes were on me. And he said famously, today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. And I thought it just keeps being fulfilled in us. And I felt a certain uh, ardor and a certain uh, ardor was the word that came to me, but dedication to wanting to live those words, wanting to make those words real in my life, and maybe even taking it upon myself that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, upon all of us. Yeah. So it was a yeah. very powerful, moving experience I'll never forget, and I won't ever read those scriptures in quite the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. What, <clears throat> what, is there anything different from the reason you wanted to come here <laughs> and now that you're here? Uh, I mean, what, 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 what did you, uh, when you heard about this trip, you say, I, I want to go. This is your first time, right? Yes. Yes. My first time in the Holy Land. So, uh, you know, it may I'm be pretty fun. obvious, but why did you want to come on this trip? Uh, I think initially a couple years ago, um, I had uh, walked to the Camino de Santiago in Spain and uh, also went to Rome on that trip and I thought well I've done two of the three major Christian pilgrimages and uh, the Holy Land is left uh, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre which we have not seen yet um, but now I, I really feel more of a calling to uh, express what this place is like and hopefully bring others here as well because uh, this makes it so real yeah. It's so real. Jesus yeah. walked in these places, and he was um, alive, and he was here. Um, what do you think you can take back to your congregation? Mm, I suppose uh, some some stories and uh, some inspiration about um, a, a faith that's very real and very physical and very sensory not uh, not esoteric or just thoughtful but a, a, a very real and solid and bodily faith that mm -hmm. we embody yeah. so. Marlene thank you and uh, for
for everybody watching out there from the shores of the Sea of Galilee. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Blessings to all of you. Thank you.